All right, another snowy day in Wisconsin here. Snowed another couple inches last night. Um, but we are on our way to go pick up one of the rarest ATVs ever made. It's actually the first ATV with four wheel drive. So, and, and it floats, supposedly, <laughs> which is kinda cool. So I'm picking it up from the same guy that sold me the Ski Dadler. He had that really cool collection of old stuff. So we're gonna go back and pick it up. He said I could have it for 2K. So we'll get there and see what it looks like. And I don't think it runs, so we'll probably have to fix it. Okay. Did it fire right up today? Just Start without right doing it? Up. Wow. Choke, turn the key. Is this all time four wheel drive? All time four wheel <laughs> drive. Some type Look of at those chains. traction in that machine too. Wow. All chain driven. That's a long chain. <laughs> Going all the way back. Wow. Are there grease fittings on these shafts, you think? I can't tell. I believe there is, yeah. Okay. I so when I saw them in there, but now it's all full of snow. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But I believe everything on it, I think, had grease fittings. <laughs> Back in the day, they did it. Yeah. It's got a hitch on the back, too. That's funny. Electric start with a recoil. So how do you do the electric start? Just... Well... That is interesting. And they were made to float too in the days, I'm sure. Okay. Trapping or whatever. Yeah. It'd be good for ice fishing. Mm hmm. If you fall through. <laughs> Does the light work? I didn't even see that. Yes. So okay. the light is on one. Oh, yeah. Then when you turn it back to get the light on. <laughs> Even I had looked at it, for the Kohler engine, okay, single cylinder. What CC do you know? I did not look at that. Did they originally come with the Kohler? Yep. Okay. Everything in this is original. I put a coil on it. Okay. Not abused at all. It's really clean. And just premium gas in here? Premium gas, yeah. Okay. All right, we got the beast in the back there. It, uh, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty slow, but it's, it's pretty awesome. It's all time four wheel drive. Um, the guy actually got it running for me, which was really nice. Um, it was sitting in the back of his shop. So he got it out, got it running. I guess it fired right up, so. That was awesome, but we'll go through the whole machine when we get home. Let it kind of thaw out. It's all covered in snow right now, but a little bit. And uh, we'll take a peek. Oh, there's a bunch of deer running across the road right there. Jeez. All right, we'll get home and uh, take a look at it. Should be a pretty fun video. Just got back home. The truck did not like getting up the driveway. We got plow again. Here it is. Got a hitch on the back. Pretty cool machine. Hancho. Made in the USA.
right, here's the first look at it. I just drove it around for a little bit. Pretty fun. Four wheel drive on this thing. Isn't that just insane? We're gonna let the snow melt off of it so I can show you guys all the chain drives and everything on this thing. Then we'll, then we'll go over like the engine and the gear changer, all that fun stuff. Then the headlight actually works too, which is pretty cool. Look how nice the seat is too. And a single rip in this seat. Really, really nice. So if you guys wanna go type this in on Facebook Marketplace, um, you probably won't find one. Um, they're super rare machines, and um, especially in this condition. Once I wipe it all down and all the snow melts, you'll be able to kind of see the condition of it, which is like almost mint for this, this machine. By far the cleanest one I've seen in pictures, online, or anything. So I'm pretty happy with the purchase. I know these are going up in value. Pretty big, so. Yeah, definitely a cool machine. And I'll show you guys the old ads on it too. Um, it was kind of marketed towards farmers um, because I had four wheel drive. And um, I believe it came with a hitch. It's got reverse and neutral and drive. And you shift it right here. So you can kind of see what's, what's in there. And then the electric start was a big thing as well. So they have the choke right here, electric start right here. I believe this is for oil right here. This is pretty cool. Vinny seems to like it. You like this one? What do you think? What do you think, buddy? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about it, buddy? What do you think? <laughs> Vinny seems to like it. But uh, we're gonna go plow, and then we'll come back and start working on this thing. All right, now that all the ice is off of it, you can actually see how clean it is. Thing is like spotless. The racks have a little rust on them, but other than that, it's very, very clean. The plastics are immaculate. Or fiberglass, I should say. Just crazy good condition. You can see the fiberglass on it. Wheels are perfect. No rust on those. So yeah, I'd say she's pretty clean. So the seat comes off here. We gotta get a bolt for that. You can see a little nut goes on the bolt right in there for the seat. We'll take that off for now. We do have to do a carb clean, but you can kind of see in here. So there's a battery back here that goes to solenoid right there. There's the carb and the filter right there, air filter. Spark plug right up there, pretty easy to get to. There's a small leak coming from the gasket right there. So we've gotta fix that as well. You can see the gas leaking out of there. And then, like I said before, you've got the key for on. Battery's dead. Choke, oil check. Headlight, and this kind of goes the, the way this thing moves. So check out the front. You can see this is the way it turns. <laughs> Pretty beefy axles in there. And you can see the chain drive going all the way back for the four-wheel drive. Pretty cool. You get like the front front uh, diff right here, tiny little thing. And then the chain goes all the way back. You can see it go all the way back to the rear back there. So it's a pretty simple system, but the chain goes all the way from the front, all the way to the back. Sprocket back there. And this is how you change your gears. You've got forward, neutral, and reverse. Up is reverse. You've got the brake right here. That is the that is the brake. So it's basically an engine brake. See that? Pretty simple design. And then the rear is controlled by the drive chain right here. Huge chain on the rear. Very very bulky. And that goes from the 
uh, differential in the back right there, or the drive gears in the back. You've got the hitch, and then you've got the other sprocket on the other side to control the four-wheel drive. So pretty cool design there, and then you've got the muffler back here coming from over here on the engine. And you also have pull start right here. Really smooth. And I believe it's a Kohler engine on this. We'll have to see if we can find a VIN. Um, let's see, there's the starter over there on that side. Oh yeah, it's this Kohler, Kohler USA right in here. See that? So it's a Kohler engine. I'm not sure the CC. But it is original to the machine. So that's kind of cool. Let's see the engine in here. There's where, there's where the exhaust pipe comes out. But yeah, very cool. Very, very cool machine. So this is actually supposed to float. So say you're driving on the water, it is supposed to float. It would be awesome to test that. But these tires are supposed to be able to make the entire machine float. I'm gonna leave the online ad for this thing when it first came out. I believe they sold for right around $2,500, brand new. So they were more expensive than the Hondas um, because of the four wheel drive and the electric start. Alright, let's check the oil here. Let's see what's in here. It looks pretty black to me. Might have to change that out. Oh yeah, that's really black. There's enough in there. But that's really, really black. So we'll have to do an oil change on it. That's a cool check right there. <laughs> And then, I want to quick take a look at the belt. I believe this is belt driven down here. So let's take a look underneath there and see what that belt looks like. I believe this, this whole cover is just held on by this right here. Let's see what's going on in there. I don't want to break anything off of this. How do we get this thing out of here? That is the question. Okay, we can kind of see in here. Belt looks brand new. <gasps> Look at that. That's crazy. Clutch looks brand new in there. Wow. That's insane. Look at how new that belt looks. It might be a new belt, I don't know. But the clutch looks really new as well. Huh, that's pretty cool. Pretty good. I'm curious to see where the oil drains from. I think it's right down there. Right there. And then the fill is probably just right where you check it, I'm guessing. We'll have to drain the oil, measure it, then dump the same amount in. Because it is at the fill mark, it's just really black. Let's try to get this oil changed here. It's on there pretty good. <laughs> get my hand in there. Shoot out. Jeez. Going 
everywhere, of course. There we go. Ooh, that is black oil. So I'm gonna measure that, see how much it takes. But um, yeah, you can see how black it is compared to the white right there. Really, really black, I don't think it's ever been changed. Yeah, there's the oil, completely black. It matches the color of the container. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So we'll measure how much is in there. We'll pour it into this container. This is empty, we'll measure that. And that'll tell us how much we can pour in there. All right, so we filled it up. Filled up to there. Right to the top, so a little bit more than a quart goes in there. Take this guy out. All right, we're gonna be using 10W40. Pour a full quart in there and then we'll check it. Do a dipstick check all the way in with it. And you can see it's perfect right at that fill line. So exactly one quart we added. And that seems to be perfect. All right, oil change done. Let's move on to the carburetor. Let's try to get that cleaned out. Try to get this filter off of here. You can just twist it off here. Oop, something fell. <laughs> like a washer. This is a unique air filter. Oh, look at that. That's what that looks like. Looks fairly clean. All right, we got the carburetor off. It looks like there's actually a little fuel pump right down there. So the gas line goes right to that. So that's interesting. A little fuel pump on there. Looks like it's spitting out gas. But we got the carburetor out. There was gas in it, a bunch of it. So we'll see how dirty that is. All right. Is that a 10 millimeter or is that 7 sixteenths? Probably 7 sixteenths. Ooh, bigger than 7 sixteenths. Half inch. Half inch. Little uh, washer on there, gasket washer. Pretty clean in there. Is that rust in the bottom? Yep, a little bit of rust on the bottom. Little holes. Look at those little divots in there. Alright, so this is just basically the float. There's a little jet in there. Not much to it. Pretty simple carburetor here. Let's take this out of here. Doesn't sound like any gas in the float. That's good, looks like it was repaired right there at one point. Maybe right there. These tend to get holes in it. If they get holes in it, they get really heavy and sink. So gas will just keep on flowing out of them. Um, let's see what the needle looks like. <laughs> Look at that needle. That is a weird looking needle, isn't it? 
Tip is still rubbery. It's good. So we'll probably just blow through this thing. Let's see what these settings are at right here. This one's at, let's see here. One, two, two and a quarter. Turns out. Look at that needle. There's little holes in there that we have to blow out. This one is going to be at one, one and three quarters, turns out. That looks like the fuel mixture screw. And then, I believe this is for idle right here. Let's see me turns. One, two, three, about well, four turns out for the idle. I believe that's the idle. It's a long screw. Jeez. There we go. I think that's basically everything. Not much to that carburetor. So we're gonna blow everything out, clean it out with some carb clean, and uh, that will be that. All right, we got the carburetor back on, filter back on. You can see it's all working. Let's see if the choke works here. Yep, choke is working. All right, let's see if she fires up and idles out all the way now. We'll test the light out too, see if that's working. Sounds pretty good. Oops, some gear. <laughs> Still in gear. I think that's neutral. We'll see. Pretty good. We might have to adjust the carburetor settings. Um, we'll know once we take it for a ride, but let's see if the light turns on. I think we have to turn the key. Oh yeah. There's the light. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, running pretty good. So carb clean is done. Everything's good to go. Lights working. I'm looking for grease fittings in here. Not really seen any. That's weird, isn't it? I think there'd be grease fittings in here, especially the joints. Huh. 
Where the heck are the grease fittings? How'd they get grease in there? I'm not feeling any grease fittings. That's just weird, isn't it? No grease fittings there. Let's see if there's any on the back here. I think there'd be some up here. No, there's just a bolt going through it. No grease fittings on there either? That's really strange. Nothing in there. How do you grease this stuff up then? I don't get it. Because I know that's eventually gonna wear out and there's no grease fitting in there. Cause that's just a bearing right there. Huh. Do you just manually put grease on it? I can see grease in here. That's just why I don't I don't know where it's coming in through. Yeah, there's definitely grease in there. Huh. No grease fitting. <laughs> All right, I wanted to fix the leak on the petcock here. It doesn't look like it's leaking anymore. I don't know if all the gas is out of it or what, but you can see this is really loose. And I don't know if you can do anything about that. I don't know if that comes out. It doesn't look like it comes apart. Usually there'd be two screws right here holding that thing on. So I think it's going to leak gas, because this thing's just really loose in there. Look at how loose that is. So it's not pressing into that seal. <laughs> I might drain the gas and just try to see where that leak is coming from. But I'm pretty sure it's right here. You'd think on the other side there'd be like a screw or something holding this on, so you could tighten it. But there's nothing. It's kind of weird, isn't it? What's holding that thing on? Huh. But yeah, it's really loose in there. <laughs> and I'm sure you can't find another one of those anywhere. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to quick check the spark plug and the compression on the engine just to see if that's good before taking it for the first ride. So I guess the guy did replace the coil at one point. Looks like somebody cut out a little hole right here to get to the spark plugs, which was smart. That should have came pre-designed like that. Otherwise you have to take off all the plastics to get to it. Or you can reach underneath here, but that's tough to do. It's been running rich. The plug is really black. Look at that. I'm just gonna quick see what that spark looks like. You guys can probably see it from here. Pull it over one time. Great spark. Cool. We'll pull it over with throttle open. You guys keep an eye on the gauge here. We're hoping for over a hundred. Hopefully more than that. It's 
So we're at like, let's see, what is that? I think it's pretty good. And about 135. That is plenty of compression. So compression checks out. All right, I think we're ready for the first ride. What do you guys think? I wish we had a lake around here. We could try to float this thing. Uh, I wonder where we could do that. Cause I want to see if this thing floats. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool if we could test that out. But all right, we're gonna head to the land and uh, there's a bunch of snow on the land. So we'll see if we can make it through this deep snow. All right, made it out to the land. I'm, I'm surprised the truck made it back here. <laughs> Look how deep this snow is. Really deep. So it should be pretty fun riding this thing today. Not one single path is cleared back there. So it's gonna be interesting. Then we've got the hitch too, so we might hook up the trailer to it and see if we can pull some weight with this thing. It's supposed to haul a good amount of, of weight, so we'll, we'll test that out too. But yeah, let's go for a little ride. She's a little slow, but she goes right through the snow. No problem. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is a pretty big hill. Let's see if you can climb it. We're gonna go through this really deep stuff. We're gonna try to hook this thing up to the trailer, see if it can pull it through the snow. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But so far it's a tank. There's no way it's gonna be pulling this thing. I don't think. I guess this thing's 305 cc, so it should be able to pull a lot. It just isn't geared to go fast. But look how deep the snow is. It's got to be, it's got to be about a foot deep. Look, we'll go right through it here. Look at that. Woohoo! Look how deep that is. All four wheels are spinning. 
Let's go climb some stuff here. Sure, there's a big rock in here somewhere. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Jeez. Well, did it. Pretty good. Wow. Tree fell down. When did that happen? Blocking my trail here. <laughs> you guys gotta see how deep this is. <laughs> Look at that. That's like halfway up the wheel. <laughs> We're not getting stuck today. I'm trying to find the path here. Ah. Three. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, cushy ride actually. Here we go up the hill. Oh, there's some big drifts in here. Woohoo! Well, I'd say that's pretty good. We can pull a trailer through about a foot of snow uphill. This thing's packed full of ice as well, so it's really heavy. I can't even push it through the snow. So, that is not bad. <laughs> not too bad. But yeah, that's the video for today on the Honcho. Um, super rare machine. Uh, first ever four-wheeler, four-wheel drive. So, definitely a unique machine. And I wasn't really expecting much for the first ride, but I think it was pretty good. And I can see why they targeted farmers for it. You go through a muddy field, this thing will just go right through it. So, I think one of the next tests I want to do on it is is a float test. So we have to like find a pond or something and see if this thing floats. Because I, I haven't seen one video on YouTube where it's testing the float theory. So, I think that'll be next video if we can find something. We'll have to go ice fishing, take this thing along, see if we can break through and, and float with it. I think that'd be a pretty cool video. But yeah, she's a beast. Goes pretty good. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video. And until next time, we are out. Oh.